this uh, this data set and we'll demonstrate these algorithms and see how it works. So we have this heater data. So there are several variables we have. So it's about the salary of uh, baseball players in US, and it depends on many things. It depends on the the different uh, aspects of uh, you know the players and the different uh, you know uh, different predictors which predict the salary, which is the target variable for the given uh, basketball player okay or the nba player now we're going to uh, use first subset selection okay and we're going to use uh, this function reg subset which will do the subset selection for us okay and then we'll see the summary statistics We'll see the sub uh, the uh, R square values, and we'll uh, you know plot the uh, BIC values, the base um, uh, the Bayesian information criteria. We can also do the Akai information criteria, or squares Bayesian criteria. Uh, so this will help us you know selecting the best model. Okay. Now the it's a very simple syntax is very simple, right? You can see the function is reg subsets. And salary is the target, and here we are going to use all 19 variables. Uh, probably we have used eight. I'm sure. I'm not sure whether it's okay. If I going to use all variables, you have to give a maximum. Otherwise, it's going to keep it down actually. Okay, because if we have large data set, the computational power is going to be massive. Given that it's a small data set, we can actually use 19 variables, which is okay. But uh, if it's a large data set, it's going to be so that's why it restricts to only eight variables. I'm not sure whether I've used 19 or eight, but let's see. So it was eight actually. Okay, I can extend it to 19. Not a big deal. Okay, so you can see when k equal to one, so one variable model, you will have eight different models, right? With each one of these variables in place. Okay, now you can see out of this eight, this gives the best model. So from the first, when k equal to 1, you have the best model with CRBI. So your salary is best predicted as a function of CRBI. So that's one of the predictors or features. Okay. When you have two variables, when you have two variables models, you have many number of models, right? When k equal to 2. So you can see star over here hits. And then CRBI. So when you have two variable model, the best prediction is given by the function of CRBI and then hits. Okay. When you have three variable model, you have hits and then you have CRBI uh, and then you have putouts. Okay. When you have four variable models, you have hits, you have CRBI. You have division and we have putouts. Okay, so that's the way you know it goes to eight variable model. There are total nineteen of them. You can actually extend that to nineteen. So for that, you just have to use this syntax, nv max. Okay, and then out of the nineteen, you know, finalized model, you have to choose what is the best one. Okay, how do you do that? Simply do uh, the R square, just plot the R square, or the adjusted R square. Okay, and we'll do that for uh, test data, not for training data. Okay, so when you do that, uh, you get R squares values. So here we have taken tra uh, training data, not test data. If you have test data in place, you better do it on test data. But even if you don't have a presence of test data, you have smaller data set and you can't divide into training and test data, still you can you know, use. When you do a summary statistic, you can see the R square value is actually going up with more number of variables. So that actually is failing us. This actually is disappointing us by uh, saying that we are using subset selection for uh, you know 
bringing down the number of features because if that's the case the prediction of power is going up with adding more number of variables so adding more number of variables is actually good that's so ideally is, is the thought process however this can be uh, validated by plotting the BIC value and that's where we have done so we have plotted the BIC value so wherever you see the BIC this you know dark spot actually touching you see this is one case this is one second third fourth five six six or seven okay I think six or seven so either six variables or seven variables is actually giving you the best model with a good interpretation so BIC actually penalize you for having more number of variables okay so with this plot you can actually find out what is the best model uh, remember this is all required when you are using training data for validation which is actually not uh, the ideal thing to do but you already have a test data you need not do this what you need to do is that just calculate the uh, you know the root mean square error uh, the RMSE for the test data set for each model so for each model over here okay you have eight models right for eight models calculate the RMSC for test data for each eight models and choose the one that gives the least RMSC okay so the idea here is minimum of or RMSC okay so that's the idea okay now we'll compare forward and backward so we just started with subset selection we'll do forward and backward syntax is same except the fact that when you do not use uh, any method by default it uh, takes subset selection when you use methods uh, forward it is going to do forward selection when it's going to use method uh, syntax is wrong slightly is method me uh, backward then it's going to give give you backward uh, regression results and that's what we are going to see so here you can see that if something is added like this is the forward one if something is added it never gets dropped now you will see crbi has been added in the first model when k equal to 1 you have crbi in the model now you can see crbi is there in all models now you can see it's star in all models right and that's the beauty of uh, forward selection it constrained that that in all selection all types of model this is have this has to be there but you see that it's not the case in uh, subset selection in subset selection you can see crbi is there in first model in definitely in second model third model fourth model fifth sixth but not in seventh model you can see this blank not in eighth model as well okay because it can have any type of combination so that constraint is not there whereas in forward selection if some a model is added in the first case when k equal to one it crbi is the one that is giving the best model that will be there in all the uh, subsequent models and that's what has happened in the second model you can see uh, hits get added right and you can see in the subsequent models in all subsequent models you have hits as one of the independent variable uh, one of the features similarly the third model you can see what is there in third model okay we'll see it here so in third model put out is there so you can see in all subsequent models put out will be there okay so that's the uh, you know main uh, uh, idea behind forward selection okay so again if you are using training data set just look at the BIC plot and see in how many cases it's get giving you the best prediction and then choose the one otherwise you'll have monotonic relationship that means your R square will simply be improving over you know number of uh, with increasing number of features so BIC plot is going to tell you what is the best set but if you have test data in place this easy right calculate RMSC and find out what is the minimum RMSC for which set of uh, model uh, which set of predictors you have minimum RMSC right so it might happen that it may not be just eight final eight variables it could be six or seven which is less so few variables get dropped that's the idea here some variables get dropped from the model so you have simpler model Okay, now that we have seen